So let's talk about agriculture because you did mention rural Canada. Farmers are dealing with a real issue in terms of fertilizer issues and, and potential price increases there as well. Yeah, you know, I was just talking to a friend of mine just outside of Saskatoon uh, coming in here yesterday. He was told basically we've got the fertilizer now, you pay for it now at today's price, which is extremely high, or risk not even getting it. Now, we haven't added in the new policies where they want to see fertilizer reduction, which is going to reduce yields. Uh, We haven't added in the fact that we haven't had a great crop in Western Canada. We've got probably one of the worst crops we've had in probably the last 20 years because of drought. All those things are going to show up in the grocery stores. And it's just a matter of time. And, uh, you know, so the poor farmer, he's sitting there. He didn't get, really get that great of a crop last year, but he's got a reasonably good price right now. He's getting good good price for his grain. Uh, but now he's looking at what i got to spend for fertilizer next year. And then he's looking at these new regulations that are coming in and trying to figure out how he's going to manage that. And then he's also hearing that we need to produce more food. we got to grow more food. Well, you can't do one without the other. you got to put the, the nutrients to the crop to grow the crop, or you don't. And uh, again, that's bad policy that's having an impact on average Canadians. It's going to hurt them in the wallet. Absolutely. In Ontario, we're seeing problems with processing in terms of beef. We're seeing price increases in pork and right across the board. Yeah, don't buy bacon these days. Don't buy bacon. Yeah, bacon is absolutely in. in And I love bacon. (laughs) As you can tell, so can I. But this all goes back around to the other problem we have is what the Bank of Canada is doing, printing approximately $400 billion since the start of this pandemic and and really changing the way uh, government has that relationship with the Bank of Canada. Uh, Of course, the government's issuing the bonds, the bank's buying them up, and this is causing uh, another problem. We're having a lot of, we have so much money, but too few products that's being chased by it.